today I'm going to be talking about the EOS R5. It's amazing. Done. Hi there, my name is Quinton Mills. I'm a photographer from uh, Johannesburg in South Africa and today I'm going to talk about my first impressions of the EOS R5. In short, it's amazing. I've been looking for a camera that can do just about everything and I think I might just have found it. In a typical week I'll shoot portraits, events, landscape, some interiors, but on the weekends I also photograph birds. So I need a camera that's got a big sensor, beautiful color, sharp lenses, and I also need it to perform 20 frames per second. And this does exactly that. So coming from a 5D Mark IV, uh, which I absolutely loved, I loved the feel of it, I loved uh, the, the quality of the sensor. When the EOS R came out, I sold my 5D Mark IVs and moved to the EOS R because it was exactly the same quality but with the added benefit of the RF lenses, which are superb. Edge to edge quality, sharpness at uh, wide open is fantastic. It, it was a no brainer. And then Canon brought out this. And it seemed to tick all the boxes uh, 20 frames per second electronic shutter, uh, 45 megapixel uh, sensor. This is it. I think I found it. Let's get into why. The first thing I noticed when I picked up this camera was the fact that it felt, it felt comfortable, felt familiar. And I think that's because a lot of the features that the 5D Mark IV had are here. So the joystick, which is fantastic. I didn't really think I'd miss it, but I did. Uh, the quick control dial at the top and another quick control wheel at the back. Again, reminiscent of the 5D Mark IV. I also love the flip out screen. I didn't think I would. I uh, used to laugh at people that had flip out screens, but once you start using it, you really know how worth the while it is. All right, so let's talk about why this camera ticks all the boxes for me. So obviously it's got uh, dual card slots. Uh, there's a, a CF Express card, which is obviously there to be able to do the 8K video, etc. And it also takes an SD card. Um, I think once you've started using dual card slots, going back to the one like the EOS R did, it, it, you get nervous about it, but obviously you've got to make sure that you've got cards that uh, are in good condition, etc. But I think a lot of people are going to be much happier with the two card slot. Um, as far as an image quality goes with the, the 45 megapixel sensor, uh, I haven't obviously been able to use uh, Capture One, which I normally use to process my raw files. Um, I've used Canon's DPP uh, software, uh, and, and from what I've seen within that, the, the, just the amount of detail and color, it's, it's going to be amazing. To coincide with the launch of the EOS R5, I decided to put together my own mirrorless project. I got a couple of friends to come to the studio, got them to uh, get dressed, put makeup on, shave, etc., all without looking in, in a mirror when, uh, when they did it. So when they arrived, it was a case of lipstick smudges, lipstick on teeth, uh, shaving foam where, <laughs> where there shouldn't have been shaving foam, but it was great fun. I think everyone really, really enjoyed it. Uh, if you have a look at this image, I'm just blown away by the 45 megapixels and the level of detail and color and sharpness. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, I think this for me is really becoming the perfect camera. The more I use it, the more I love it. All right, so let's talk about the autofocus and eye tracking. As I mentioned earlier, I've recently started photographing birds and it's become an obsession. <laughs> I, every chance I get, I'm gonna go out and photograph birds, but I'm still a real newbie and um, you know, trying to work out composition and, 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 and exposure and catch light in the eye uh, whilst also trying to put the, uh, the focus point on the eye is, is quite tricky. The first time I picked up this camera and focused on a bird and it went from body, head, eye in almost instantly, I, I was hooked. The, the fact that you don't have to worry about that anymore and it will go straight to the eye and sit on that eye no matter what the bird does is, is a game changer, a huge game changer. I hesitate to say that it will make bird photography easy. Uh, let me not uh, upset too many people, but it certainly is gonna go a long way to making it uh, where you now have to worry less about focus on the eye and more about your composition and what you're trying to achieve from the photograph, which for me is fantastic. All right, let's talk about frames per second. Obviously, you know, the number of frames per second is not that important when it comes to shooting portraits or food or uh, landscape. But when it comes to shooting bird photography, which is a passion of mine, I want to be able to get more of the bird in flight than I do uh, currently. Uh, with the 5D Mark IV, it was a case of bird on stick and as it jumped to fly, I would get bird on stick and half the bird cut off as it left the frame. 
with the EOS R, I got bird on stick and the bird two thirds of the way out of the frame. With the R5 at 20 frames per second, electronic shutter, I'm at least going to have a chance to get a couple more shots before it leaves the frame, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, and I think that's, that for me is, is, is something that again starts ticking boxes. So we've already seen that the quality is amazing. Uh, the autofocus on the eye for birds is fantastic, so that's birds half box checked. And then with 20 frames per second, that certainly checks the second half. So bird photography for me, absolutely. I think it's going to be a perfect camera for me for that. Another very cool feature is in-body image stabilization. Com that combined with the lens image stabilization means that you potentially got eight stops of image stabilization, which is fantastic. If you ever needed to in emergency shoot uh, a scene at a fourth of a second, but still want it absolutely sharp, that gives you the opportunity to do it. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, so let's talk about video. I'm definitely a newbie when it comes to the video side of things, but I have completed a couple of projects which I'm really, really excited about. I think the EOS R5 is going to give me the capability to take it further and uh, really start pushing the, the video that, uh, that I'm producing. So much so that I'm planning on putting together a project where uh, we go from stills to video and we talk about the equipment that you need, uh, the processes, so writing scripts, uh, sorting out uh, lighting, uh, sound, etc. and taking you guys through the, the process as I learn it. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, we've been chatting to Canon about it and I think we're going to put together something there that's uh, going to be really, really awesome. All right, so that's my take on the EOS R5. Uh, I absolutely love it. I think it ticks all the boxes. Uh, the feel of it feels more like a 5D Mark IV uh, with the joystick, uh, you know, the control dial at the, at the top and at the rear. Uh, it feels familiar and, and I really love that. Um, I can't wait to feel the battery grip uh, which comes with it. I think it's just also going to make it feel much more solid and um, yeah, familiar. In short, go out, check it out. It's, it's a beautiful camera. Um, I'm certainly going to be selling one of my EOS R's and uh, replacing it with uh, one of these. It's a no-brainer. All right, guys, thank you very much. See you next time. All right, here we go. Let's smash this out of the park. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying that. My hair look okay. Love these.